back. Come on, you What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on the VMAX again. And uh, the goal today is to get this thing running. I want to hear this thing running. So uh, we're going to do that. I promise. <laughs> um, like always, if you like these videos, if you want to see more, subscribe, share, comment. Comments are awesome. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you want to see. Stuff like that. Um, got t-shirts available. There's a link below. They're all on sale till the end of the year as well. So check that link out below. We got t-shirts. I don't have these sweaters on there yet, but if you want one, let me know. I'll get you one. Um, you can message me, message me on uh, the comments in here or my Facebook, Instagram page, all that stuff. Anyways, VMAX. So for those of you who haven't seen, I go do a real quick up to date here. Just recently bought this, um, bought it off the original owner. It is a 1990 VMAX 540. Very original, very low mileage. Um, 2000 K on it. Um, hasn't ran in years and years and years and years. Uh, took the carbs off, cleaned them because they were an absolute nightmare. And today what we're doing is we're going to get these carbs uh, back in this thing, <coughs> all cleaned, and uh, we're going to get this thing running again. My gas tank was broken, which is up there. Picked up uh, another used tank off a guy, uh, also in Canada, so we're going to have to put that in. Uh, we're going to swap the gas cap because this one's a bit faded. The other one I have is in better shape. Um, tank back on seat back on and we're gonna hear this thing run so um yeah i guess that's it there's no other updates other than that it's just basically throwing everything back together now um yeah let's get started All right, so the carbs are back in. What a disaster, man. I see why they stopped selling these things. <laughs> Just kidding. But um, yeah, Yamaha really played people when they sold these to people and then said, uh, yeah, yeah, good luck working out there. Like people got played. This is fucking insane. Um, I had the carbs. I stopped filming because uh, I was having problems, but I had the carbs in and out like three, four times each carb, like just a disaster. Nothing wants to fit and everything's got to go in a very specific certain way. Whatever. Carbs are in. Um, put this uh, rad shroud back in so you can't see what I was going to show you, but I think I have a clip that I took the other day when I started to put some of these new lines in, so I'll play that now. Okay, so look at the amount of fuel lines here. T's. On T's, little piece here, little piece here, little piece here, little piece here. Two here that go back to the tank. Um, two more here that haven't changed that go to your carbs because I don't have the right size line. And then on these, all these little pieces with the T's, there's another two lines that run down here. Like, what is going on with this thing? Oh, and then all these vent lines too. Like, just insane. And to get at these, um, I pulled the rad shroud. Uh, I've unbolted the rad, removed the rad. I've removed the oil tank so I can get to the ones down here. Like, I just figured I'd show you how ridiculous this stuff is. Carbs are in. Uh, I got to get the tank in now and all the stuff back in the shroud here. Um, the tank, I already cleaned it up a little bit. I swapped over the cap from uh, my tank because it was in nicer shape. So we're going to get this tank on. The lines, all this fun stuff. Get the seat on it and uh get some gas in it which probably won't be till tomorrow but anyways let's uh see what we can get done today
right, so I haven't started it yet. Um, I just put some new plugs in it. I put a little bit of gas down the cylinder, so it should probably fire pretty easy, and then it'll probably die. Um, if we get lucky, it'll stay running, and I won't have to pull it 85 times, but we'll see here. Um, I've already pulled it out uh, the throttle wide open like 30 times just to get the oil pump um, primed. Um, normally I do it with a coat hanger while it's running, but I can't actually even get to it, so I figured that was the easy option, but anyways. Whew. Let's see what happens here. Done. Might as well go full choke. Let's see. So much for starting easy, eh? Much, much later. Oh, or something. Oh, she's close. Oh, Ooh, my back. Come on, you bitch. Guys, I'm cooked, man. Oh. Ah. Well, guys, I've been playing with this thing all day, trying to figure out why it runs on one cylinder. At first, I was like, ah, I think it's spark. And then the more I looked at it, it didn't look like spark. So what I did was I started looking at the fuel lines, and it's very hard to tell. But if you look, here's a good comparison. You see how this is slightly different color than this? This is the fuel line to this carb, the one that's not running. And this is the fuel line to the uh, clutch side carb, which is running. Now, it's hard to tell, but I don't think there's any fuel in this line. So I followed it back to the pump, and I'm like, okay, uh, doesn't look like there's any fuel line or any fuel coming out of the pump at all. But then I started tracing it back, and there's no fuel in the supply. So at first, I thought it was that stupid Yamaha fuel shutoff they have. So I put this on and pulled it a few times and nothing. So I pulled this off, which is a line that comes directly from the tank, and I was sucking on it to try and pull fuel from the tank, and I could not pull fuel from the tank. So I pulled the pickup out of the tank, and lo and behold, I don't know if you can see this here. Oh, I'm making a mess. One of the lines is plugged off. Nice. So there's the problem. <laughs> hard, hard to pull fuel with a bolt in the line, eh? But oh well, we're gonna fix that pickup. I'll probably actually take it from my other tank, the original one and get this back out. I don't know if we're gonna do it tonight. It's pretty dark out. Um, I don't know, we'll see. We may resume this in a couple of days, but let me fix this tank and carry on with my life. One other thing I noticed too, I just pulled my pickup out of my original tank. There's the filter setup. Makes sense, I was wondering why there's no filter on the system. There is, it's on the pickup in the tank. I'm not used to these Yamahas, so I think I might just drop my, ah, you know what, I'm not gonna drop this in, but I'll pull these lines off and put them on that pickup because it's a real pain in the ass to get the lines uh, on these tubes. So I'm gonna keep that one, but I am gonna take this whole assembly and put it on those uh, hard lines. So let's swap that. All right, so it's the next morning. It's like minus 20, of course. Picked a good morning for this, and uh, it's kind of early, so I think the neighbors are going to be pretty pissed off at me here, but unfortunately for them, I kind of want to hear this thing run, so oh, we're going to have to fire this thing up. So I fixed that fuel issue last night, so I just put gas on the cylinders again. I'm assuming it's going to fire and then die, and then hopefully I don't have to pull it too many more times for it to actually start pulling fuel, uh, but... We'll see here. So, gas is on. Full choke. All right. Whew. See what happens here. Try to help this thing, eh? And it does this kind of sh to me. Oh, come on. My back is f Oh, your back. What did I ever do to you? Huh? You know, it 
sitting for years. Break my back trying to get you working. And you do me dirty like this. Not cool. Maybe I'll put you back in the shed for another 10 years. Huh? You wanna sit in the shed? You bitch. I had a good feeling about this one. I was wrong. Oh. Much, much later. All right, so I just was going to put it back in the garage because I was over it and I figured oh, I'll fire it up one more time. And all of a sudden she's running on two. Let me turn this gas back on. But it's very intermittent. At higher RPMs, it seems to kick in. At lower RPMs, it doesn't. But uh, give me a second, I'll fire this up. And at least you'll get to hear it for a second. I'm wondering if the plugs are maybe bad on it. They are super old, so I better get some new plugs in it before I say anything. But I don't want to leave this video off like this. So I'll give you uh, a little taste of it running on two, kind of. running uh not that good kind of on two but not really i also have one old plug in it right now which probably doesn't help but um we're gonna leave her at that so thanks for watching guys we'll get it running better on the next video but it is running for the first time in who knows how many years right so stay tuned guys we've got a lot more on this thanks for watching <laughs>